This is the dual dry hops IPA with a while back. Sorry for the noise in the background. There's always somebody doing something, isn't there? So, give it a pour, give you my thoughts. That's a while to come through, so, not sure if anyone will watch live, but we'll uh, try our best anyway. There we go, cheers. That's the new um, floor assistant um, tap. Works a treat, so yeah. Um, this is advice you asked for on the one well, watching there, on the kegging, um, dry hopping, sorry. So I did 100 um, in the primary, grams of mosaic and 100 grams. Actually, no, it's alright, mate. Thanks for dropping by. 100 mosaic in the primary, 100 um, Columbus in the keg, and that's one hoppy smelling high page. Single kit, um, kit and kilo, nothing fancy, but yeah, done a great job. So, just for that. And we've got um, my spitters up on eBay, it's a stainless steel bottling one. I'll, I'll um, take it apart shortly for you. So what it entails, very similar to the plastic one. But what I do find with the plastic ones, they do actually bend and um, spring in there and they actually bend after a bit. So it's probably third one. So I thought I'll get one of these from eBay. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no worries, mate. Yeah, I'll go just carry on as best I can. Um, yeah, so stainless steel. Anyone's interested in buying one of these from China, about eight pound forty, I think, with postage. Took a four or five weeks to get here. I'll strip it. Um, so you can deal with it. So first, this is just the uh, um, got squeeze head there into the bottom. Uh, um, little o ring there, like a but if you press it too tight, it does deform, so you don't see much. So you can actually, I'll put um, I'll do, I'll put a description after the video's finished, mate. I'll um, put um, the item number on eBay. They are quite expensive to buy over here off America, but from China, not too bad. So when the video's finished, I'll put um. The link below on the item eBay number the one I did, so yeah, so you can with that one you can actually stick it onto your holes there. That's for you. Um, it's your auto siphon, so you can bottle straight from your uh, from until if you want or carboy, whatever you call it. Also with this. If you screw it again, um, I'll do a proper video of this in sign. You can actually screw this onto your tap, just think I'll sort that out of the way. Uh, straight onto your tap there, a bit fiddly, but it will go on. Bit of cajoling, I'm sure you can get it there. It's screwed on there. So, what I can actually do now is bottle straight uh, from the keg, so it's quite a good option. So yeah, that's just one thing to take note of, and then screw that again. This is a nozzle end anyway, so what we'll do is a quick look there. Same again, little rubber, like a gasket more than owing actually, spring in there, that comes out. Very similar to a plastic one. So yeah, it's just... Nice little option, not expensive, so I say just short of um, £8 with postage from China. So, yeah, it arrived there pretty well. Yeah, I'm sure for that one. So, so I'll put a eBay number down there and you can have a look if you want to purchase one. It took about, say, four or five weeks, but yeah, that's okay. Back onto that. So, cheers. Yo, what's your World Cup? Bit of a disappointment, once it, yeah. So, mm, very disappointed with that one. 
and because it's two base Friday, I'll just uh, try this one. This is a turbo cider with ginger, and it's got a um, nice bit of carbonation. Give it a pour. Yeah, there. If you like ginger, you'll enjoy this. If you don't, it won't be your street because it's quite quite potent. I've got a guy at work, um, Indian guy. Yeah, it is. I think you use three carbonation caps in this one. Um, Indian guy at work. He loves it, nobody else likes it to be honest, so it's a bit, um, if you like ginger, you'll like this, if not, I'd give it a miss. So yeah, um, quite thoroughly gone tonight, there's only one watching, any thumbs up there? Um, no, I put a notification out on these, but just fly off the, fly off the wall this one, about the first one out three or four weeks, something like that, so yeah, it's... Uh, Short and sweet, what we on there? Uh, six minutes, my eyes are going through my glasses on. No, it's not a wig of doing an haircut, so yeah, that's the turbo side with ginger. I'll send a couple of those out, see what people think, and it's it's one of those you just it's on the border of a little bit too much, I think. Could perhaps tone it down next time. Just um Easy to do, you know, short and cheerful, and that's the, that's the IPA. There's a kit, but it's not clear. But how many hops in there? I didn't expect it to be, so I'll leave that, fellas. So thanks for watching. Um, so I'll put a link to the eBay number on this. Go and check it out if you want. And uh, yeah, well worth it. It's, um, I thought I'm going to plastic one, so yeah. Good option, so cheers, fellas. Got two watching now. Anyone else want to put a comment up before we uh, move on? Because it's um, Talma now, UK 20 to 9. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, not been doing much. I actually got back on my bike last couple of weeks, so yeah, been doing a bit of mountain biking and not. Uh, not good when your ass starts hurting, is it? You come back from the woods and you tell your missus you, you got a sore bottom, she wonders what you've been doing. So, yeah, well, bubble there, just put a kit on tonight, just a simple bit of just something for the keg, bit of a keg fella. So, yeah, um, that's about it. So, got a like, so cheers. Um, see you watching now, who are we on? Oh, okay. uh, hi, Chris, how are you, mate? All things in the old US of A. Just, um, as you see in this one, one of those stainless steel bottling ones. You can strip it again for you if you like. Very similar to the, the plastic one, but it's going to last tons longer. And it's, um, it's sort of £8 from the UK. Where are likes everybody? I know there's not many, not many watching tonight, mate. I think, uh, I think people are going off me. Um, starting the have got the barcode on there. Got a like, uh, yeah. So, barcode off. What's that? Very similar. Things like, yeah, we had a. This is the best spell of weather I've known for, for a long, long time. Um, have you ever seen it warm? Uh, obviously, some days are more warm than others, but um, not much rain. We've got a hose pipe band coming on, but or two likes. Cheers, fellas. Um, don't have much in the UK to get a hose pipe band, uh, yeah. So, the brewing, um, not done much brewing at all. I've done a kit. Okay, I've got just one there. It's in the fermenter. One in the fridge down here. That's a, just the Cooper's um, water. Yeah. What are you drinking? Right. That's the that's a turbo cider with ginger. I'll put a bit of a description below what I've done with that one. That's quite. 
It's quite gingery actually, it's, you may not like it. Simple to do. And this is the, that's the IPA up for what you've also got to, uh, going to roll now, yeah, stop for a bit. Does it have a good, it does have a good bite, it's, it's a strange one that the turbo is ginger because it's, it's dead refreshing and all of a sudden you've got that tang on your lips and the warming down the, right down the middle, so yeah. Um, maybe do a video, I'll just put a bit of a description below and that's the, when I asked a weeks ago the, how do you dry hop, this is the results of this one. Simple kit, it's yeah, quite a good day, too, isn't it? Yeah, simple kit, um, 100 grams of mosaic. Talking about ginger, I found some I didn't. Oh, nice one. <laughs> it's always nice to get uh, some positive feedback, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is the, sorry, the IPA. Hi, mate. Um, so 100 grams of mosaic in primary, and I put 100 grams of Columbus in the keg. When I first, first, Took the keg out, um, took the uh, hops out after a week. Hey Tony, cheers mate. I took the hops out after a week and there wasn't much and I put the, the lid back on. And then, a week later, it's like, gone again. The first couple of pints were green, the hops, for some reason, when I when I took the lid off the keg, and it's obviously got some air in there, pumped it back through with CO2, um, and it's just come through on the smell, so yeah, it's... Bit chuffed, so yeah. Um, say not much all grain brewing. I, yeah, I managed to finish that bag of grain, I, gr I crushed it all up, and I still got residues of dust over there behind you. Um, cheers, mate. Yeah, it's, it's this was actually based on if you guys watch or did used to watch a guy called um, he was off tap brewing, tiny uh, Australian guy, fantastic channel. Not subscribed to him, not put videos up for ages, not sure what's going on there. But uh, go, and, go and check out Tiny, and he did, um, pardon me, straight in the cube. This wasn't in the cube, this one. But he put, he's him and Kesbar, they put 100 grams of Mosaic and 100 grams of Columbus straight in the cube, and fantastic results. And that was my plan. I bought the hops in for that reason. But it never happened, so I got a cheap, cheap and cheerful kit. It was, it was eight pound or six pound in the homebrew shop. Um, come more thumbs up, please, fellas. I want to stick it up, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, in the homebrew shop, I did a beer on beer with this one. It was previous one. It was a um, just a bitter kit, and it just went off like flipping mad. Could going in the bath. Oh, cold going in the bath. What the... <laughs> yeah, cheers anyway. Um, enjoy your bath. And it's... So yeah, you guys go and check uh, Off Tap Ruin, Tiny and Kes Bar. Fantastic collaboration between them. And... Hi mate, how are you? I just, um, just been following your first couple of videos on your, on your builds and uh, that's a great space you've got there. And... I wish I had that kind of space and that kind of money, but yeah, um, looking forward to following the journey. And I must apologise, last few videos have not been too um, prompt. The impetus, would you say, with YouTube and that, you know, it's just so much going on. Um, but the World Cup as well, haven't we? So it's just been that busy. So I've been watching some of your. Uh, videos. I've been watching Steve Molson, seen Tube Dino's, Zandy Brew. I've seen a couple of yours, Tony, not commented. Yeah, cheers, mate. And uh, yeah, it's just um, I tend to do now, I tend to watch the, a lot of the videos coming through on the TV in the living room and then meaning to put a um, must go noise, but yeah, and I mean to put a comment afterwards on my phone and then before I know it, it's gone and it's just lost in there. Uh, Cyberspace somewhere, yeah, so that's all about it, really. Um, so, have all of you guys seen this stainless steel? Um, 
bottling one comes with plastic there, very similar. Uh, where do you get your cornies from? I got mine from um, a homebrew.ie company Ireland. I got two of them, um, the, re the reconditioned ones, um, good, really good price. And the price um, does vary to do with the, um, the price of the euro. It, the euro is quite strong at the moment, isn't it? so you can go to homebrew company. I think you've got a UK branch as well, so not much difference now. You could get your corners from there. Um, get me gas. There's a place in Stockport. And it's quite funny, really, because it's a bit of a tale there. Um, it's on to a guy just up the road, lives up here, and he's gone to this pub, and he said they ran out of CO2 uh, to dispense the beers. So I should have, should have come round here. We've got plenty in here, so yeah. Best price, yeah. They are, they are the best price, Sam, yeah. Um, I think they do the they do a bit of a kit, don't they? They, they do the you can get the cornies. I think you can get the cornies and the regulator, and probably if, you, if you're going to do go down that route, I'd say go go all all out or even Keg Kingdom, something like that. There's loads Malt Miller, and try and I'd, I'd phone somebody and get onto them and tell them what you want the taps. Um, if you do want taps, so you go to the um, party taps, you know, for a, um, for a short time. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And if you can get it all at once, you're going to find it cheaper. And obviously, not gonna, they're not going to sell you the gas. They just find a local supplier, go for a, a welding supplier, something like that. That's what I did. Um, and I, I, I'll tell you his tale again because I've got a real, this guy, he's somewhat out of, oh God, he's a, he's a really, um, it's a comedy program. It's just I think he's doing a rerun now at the moment, and it's based in Hadfield, which is just Derbyshire, um, Cheshire borders. And it's he's, he's this guy's like a real character out of this. And I went to him one day, and I said, he said, um, I said, "Have you got a bottle, please?" So I've been a few times. I said, "Have you got a bottle?" He says, "Yeah, what size?" Not so tall. He says, "Uh." That's the one, mate. Yeah, cheers. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Now, you think new program coming, aren't there? Real character out of that. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks a lot. Um, and the, the guy I was talking to, he said, um, he says, "You brewing a welding?" He says, "I'm brewing." He said, "Fucking hell!" He said, "What's some piss heads round here?" He said, "Your third one in, in this morning." So it's uh, that really made me chuckle. That yeah, really good. Um, and a real character. So next time I do go in. I know what he's mate, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah, cheers. And uh yeah, cracking program that. Um it's just Northern Human, it's it's a lot of people don't get it, do they? That's the kind of thing. Um but my all time favourite and um viewers to this channel will know it's our design pet and that's a fantastic um I've not found anything to beat that programme yet. I don't think anything ever will. I just, I just know these. Nothing for you. Hi, Mark. How are you, mate? Funny you should say that, Mark, because um, when he came on, because there was a guy the other day. I bought some new pedals for my mountain bike, and a DMR. I can't. You don't know my bike. A DMR V8. So I looked on the on YouTube just to see a few reviews, and that guy. It's a spitting image of Martin Arrowboat Brewer. He must be his brother or cousin, something like that. I did put a comment on his thing, yeah. So, yeah, uh, fantastic, um, fantastic fellow. So, yeah, going to mountain biking. Um, any more thumbs up coming, fellas? Does help me, help my channel. Uh, yeah, so, um, I'll be in the same pet. So, what, what, um, what are your favourite programmes? Cheers, mate. Why I double bollocks? Ah, oh, yeah. What's my favourite? My favourite. Um, I probably mentioned this before. Well, I've mentioned this before. Um, is Barry and Wayne, and Wayne's like the ladies' man. It's gonna be funny. Cheers. Um, Wayne's a Wayne's a ladies' man, and Barry's the radish. Fuck with the dollar, Jordy Lager. I'm gonna. That's all. Well gone, that Jordy Lager. That was a fantastic beer. 
Um, I did mean to send some out, I'm sorry I didn't. Um, I did give a lot away through work, even more than I like that one. But um, yeah, get a chance to do that, do that one. Um, yeah, so Wayne, you got Wayne and Barry. Barry's a bit of a radish and they're going to chat up two birds and outside this cafe bar come pub, whatever it is, outside. So Wayne's made all the break. Love that Breaking Bad, watched all them well all the way through. Uh, yeah, fantastic. In between, oh, superb. In between us, that's flipping classic. That, in fact, the first time I watched In Between Us, I, my daughter, she's 16, I was about three years ago, and he had some, I'll come back to that in a minute, he had some raucous laughter from the bedroom. I thought, what's she watching? I went in, there's all this semi nudity and TNF. What's this? Uh, I started watching it myself and uh, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, in between us, fantastic. And, you know, when you get to old age, it just takes you back and you think, yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going now. Uh, Wayne and Barry, yeah, they're in a pub and Wayne says to Barry, come on, Barry, it's your turn. You, you know, you have a, have a stab at these two young ladies. So, um, I can't do a, a Brummy accent. Hi mate, enjoy the bath. <laughs> Cheers. Um, so, so Barry says his best broad accent. I can't do a Brummy accent, sorry. Um, excuse my. When dogs come back so hot. And Wayne's face was an absolute picture. So yeah, that was the end of that uh, double date for the day. So yeah, that's fantastic. Um, breaking Bad. I'm going to catch one of these comments here because... Breaking Bad... Mighty Boosh. Mighty Boosh. Never seen Mighty Boosh. Hey, Gaff, how are you? And you guys... Not seeing Gav, go and give a click to his channel. Not been on for a while. Um, one of the first YouTubers I um, subscribed to, and he gave me loads of um, great feedback in the early days. And I did really thank him for that. Um, loads of encouragement. And one time I was going to uh, pack it in, he just said, you know, carry on, just take your time. And so fantastic guy. Cheers, Gav. Appreciate all you've done for me in the past. And uh, Good to see you back. Let's see you uh, put a few of my videos up because I uh, enjoyed your stuff, um, really stuff. It's been a while, so how are you? Back on the IPA. That just smells fantastic. For a kit, you wouldn't think it. And I'll have to bottle some and get some out. But when them beers are that good, you just want to drink them, don't you? But I have been trying to curtail it a bit. We've got 14 watching. 14 watching, only four thumb ups. Come on, fellas. Be generous. Um, yeah, so cheers to you, Gav. Um, hope you're all right. You know, you've got a new grand, granddaughter, grand, grandson. A while back. Probably not that young now, is he? Is it, or is she? Four or five, something like that. So, yeah. Um, so, just, just thinking back now to um, time gone past in the... YouTube community, and I'll I'll tell you a couple of like, thanks for the thumbs up, fellas. Nice to see you. Yep, can't beat the Woodfords cracking beer. Just an upload. Oh, nice one. Cheers, mate. Um, yeah. Um, time's gone by, and I've, I've missed quite a few fellas. Um, let me have a look, think back. Um, just, where was it? Obviously, um, it's called Big Dave. I uh, watched I'm not sure he's doing videos anymore, but I did hear a while back he had died, sadly, for if he had. Um, obviously, not heard much from him. Shame, cracking guy. Just not long. Cheers, mate. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah. Um, who else? Um, used to like. What's it called? Oh, friggin' hell. Do you know what? Mine's um, Okay, so it's going through. Same message, keep going. I have a scroll, I don't know why. Um, let's have a look. Um, Bridge Tube is a really, really like. 
the unknown brewer. That was one a while back. He was a cracking fella. Um, and then he had some family issues. He had to look after certain members of the family. I think it was an older relative. So he was a cracking fella. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think some of the ones I've, I've really watched over the years. Um, Anarchy. Anarchy Brew in the UK. He was one of the first ones I watched. Um, Something happened to him. I think I jinxed my answer. Um, something happened to him. I think he had a motorbike accident, something like that. So he stopped in the video. He did a couple more later on. But what's brewing UK and Anarchy brewing the UK? First, first two or three I've what used to watch along with Craig Tube and Craig Tube. Now it's it's not. I've said it before. He's not the most knowledgeable. And he's, he's not the most technical, and he hasn't got the best equipment, but he just something about his videos. Um, if, you do, if he puts a video up, I'm sorry fellas, his, his, his videos or his views are going to go above yours, and mine to be honest, I know that for a fact. So yeah, um, just, just love what he does. He was one of the first ones that I got into. Show me some great stuff. He does mainly kits, don't he? But he has done all green, but... He gets a bit of stick for doing the kits, but I don't know why, because, you know, it's each to his own, isn't it? Um, Ginger with cider. Blimey. Oof, just got a tingle down there. Um, <laughs> they say Messi keep coming through with the default or something, I don't know. Ah, oh, let's have a look. Right, sorry about this. Well, on this. That's all right, coming through now. Yeah, disappeared. Big Dave. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I think so. Two down to the crane. Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, we've had some. You know, I think it's just it's like life in general, isn't it? Um, we're all getting older, aren't we? And it's. Have you guys done your analytics on your videos? Because I think I noticed now, I think most of my viewers now, between the ages of, I think it's 35 and 60. So yeah, there's um, a lot of younger ones, they're probably busy pubbing and clubbing, aren't they? And starting families and then, we all do it. And you, 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 we all do that when we're younger, don't we? We come back, back into the house and you have kids and... You start growing up and you don't go out as much as you used to and, you know, what do you do? You watch a bit of television and you start home brewing, you start watching YouTube videos and that's the way I got into it because my, my, um, my first um, homebrew kit was a Father's Day present and I think my missus um, regrets doing it because this, this thing's just it's taking over. And it's not the biggest garage but it's just, you know, it's... Um, just everything and looking back now on what I've done and what I've spent over the years if you had me time again I'm not sure they were out first time I'd go for a something like a grain father or a brown meister straight away <coughs> just take the plunge and just just go expensive route uh, not massive volume so for myself mainly isn't it so that's what I would do because I've you've probably seen videos I've farted and pissed a lot with drilling pots and cutting my fingers and all sorts yeah but it's all a fun uh, of home brewing and you have to remember sometimes as well don't you um you know all these things okay yeah I'll go back to this in a minute um all these brewers and i did it i did here in victorian uh, britain in the times the master of the house took the maid or the, to be his wife if she could make good beer in the town of Victorian Britain when, you know, the beer wasn't safe, uh, sorry, the water wasn't safe to drink, so they drink, used to drink beer, which is not, that's not so bad, is it? So, yeah, and you had, um, I've, I've told you tell before, so about the light, um, and it was three grades of, of beers, and you had the first runnings were for the lords, hens used to get drunk as a lord, they had the strongest stuff, second went down to the workers, and the third to the women and the children used to drink the beer as well, yeah. So, um, yeah, that special drunk as a law, this is the strongest stuff. You used to what, play billiards or in the day, wasn't it? Uh, snooker, yeah. So, yeah, that's the came from. So, let's have a look at these views again because. <laughs> I 
23, yeah. <laughs> nice one, mate. Arty watching him. All right, so where's the fun? Is it drink brewing or drinking? How much better is it? Right, I'll just answer Gav first. Grains. Right, grains to kits, I would say. They're not twice as good. I would say, at most, I would say, um, all grain brewing, I would say, you may put me right, I would say all grain brewing is perhaps 30% more, or oh, 30% better than the decent kits, that's my opinion, 25 to 30% better. But they take three or four times as long, so you have to weigh up one against the other. Um, nothing wrong with kits. Um, budget kits do need help, and the quality kits are probably fine as they are. So yeah, um, that's what I would say with the kits and the all grey. What was the other one again? So, where is the fun in brewing or drinking? Um, well, I've always drunk beer to be honest. Well, always. So 15 or 16. Did then have a lot in the early days. Um, but I really enjoy brewing and I enjoy buying. It sounds stupid this because I do enjoy buying bits for brewing. It's like any hobby, isn't it? You know, if you spent 20 quid, 30 quid on you know something for the house which are broken, you won't be so happy. But if it's it's twenty-five pound for a, you know, um, piece of equipment, you know, work chiller, something like that. You don't mind spending on a hobby, so that's like anything. Mountain biking is the same for me, and road cycling, yeah. So if, if it's for your hobby, you don't mind spending there. And it's not. People get into home brewing and they think it's going to save them money. It's not. You know, you could go and get three cases of. They may not be the best. You get three cases of lager or bitter or side of them supermarket for £18 on an offer so you're not going to make it as well you could probably make it as cheap as that but um yeah it's if anyone thinks they're gonna do home brew to save money I'll tell you now you're mistaken because it's just it escalates you know oh someone's got one I didn't know he one of those I'll buy one of those yeah it'll come in handy that and you know I mean I saw the hydrometer and I've got refractometer and I've got, you know, bottling wands, I've got bottling, um, what do you call them? Friggin' hell, I'm thinking of stand up. Oh, God. Gone. Bottling, what do you call them? Oh, shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, these are, and these, the, not the Venator, these are a lot as well, so yeah. It's where do you stop? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, and you think I've had a plastic fermenter? I got a stainless steel fermenter, and it would last a lot longer. But I mean, I can look round now, and I've got the that's it bottling tree. I'll, yeah, I'll go through. Yeah, it's all relative. Rather than brewing, making good beer, spending salt. Yeah, no, you're right, mate. Yeah, it's it's easy. It's all into. I mean, I love this hobby, and I love this. You know, I do. I do. I just like the community. Um, I don't do any other. Fifteen watching, so a few more likes, fellas, please. Uh, I don't do a lot of social media. I don't do Facebook, don't do Instagram, don't do Twitter. So this is my my platform, as you like. Um, so looking round now. I'm not going to turn the camera around because you don't really need to see, but you don't know. I've got. Um, yeah, I know it's, it's it's everything, isn't it, mate? It's just it's just one thing to the other. Right, a quick go down now. Right, down here I've got a 25 litre cube, and I've got a beer in there. It's been, been since August, so I've not touched it. It's not a beer, it's a wort actually, so I haven't put yeast in. Um, that's a Bateman's Triple XB, that's going to come in in August. I've not opened it. I don't look at it because I just think one of those, I don't want to open, open it till the year. I'm just hoping I can make a decent beer out of that. I've got the bottling tree. 
full of bottles there, the V8. Uh, um, I've got my homebrew boiler up there, and my old made one. I've got another 25 litre cube, I've got two fermenters there. Yeah, I've got, missed them, I've got a 23 litre glass carboy there. Um, nightmare to move around, I've got about five or six small damage ons, I've got 23 litre fermenter here, I've got one in there, I've got uh, the Bulldog Sparger there I can use for brewing, I've got, oh, I've got pans, I've got pots, I've got bits in here, I've got the kegerator here, I've got two carny kegs in there, bottles of stars on up here, I've got the homemade mashed sun, it's just, it's just because out of sync and I just just do in the future I'd go single kit uh, sorry single vessel Braumeister uh, Bulldog whatever it is you know Greenfire that's what I'll do in the future if I was starting again but you don't know do you and when you start making things and you know you're doing you just don't you don't say I've got two ink birds I've got bubble there that's just starting to go uh, controller there that doesn't do heating so it's just on the fridge so when it drops to below I think it's dropped below oops raised above six sorry that kicks in uh, yeah um, I've got an induction induction hob here it's just it's just mad isn't it you know it's just you know I just I do, I do like the hobby and it's, it's great fun, but it's just, it just escalates on the you know. And I'll go off, um, say you're one of, you're one of the first ones that I subscribe to and you subscribe back and it's just, where does it stop? You know, um, can look around and it's everything. I mean, I've got bottles. I'm trying to get rid of bottles, to be honest. I'm trying to get rid of, the crown cap, so when I do beers now, send them to work. Drop the bottles back, no keep them, send them to me mate in Cornwall. Keep the bottles, don't want them back. Um, mother in law has a few. So, yeah, um, it's just one of those things. And you, not bad now, but for winter, I've got I've got the, I've got some extra lights when it's dark. Not too bad near at the moment. It's all it's um, white. Um, this, in the garage, absolutely freezing in winter. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some uh, thermorap across the doors. I'll seal the bottom, can't see there, but blows the gale through there. Um, in winter, these leaves, these water comes through. I seal that, to thermorap, a couple of tube heaters. I'm gonna try to make this, not into a room as such, but just something that I can use all year round um to be honest it's not gonna be boiling in, in winter but just take the chill off i've got a dartboard over there and i'm not very good so that'd be nice to practice once it so yeah um i've got my bikes down here um two bikes down here i've got a bike up there so it's a bit my my domain i know that that part of yours tony that, Absolutely fantastic. I'd set my hats off to you, mate. That's a brilliant job. I know Z German came over and he was, um, he did tell me over the moon with that one. What's the quality of the beer in the car, boys? Um, did you mean the actual, do you mean the corny kegs, Gav, or the, the glass car, boys? Um, the kegs, fantastic. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would not go back to, you wouldn't go back to, um, and I've got a video up, um, on the, oh, what's it called, the pressure barrels, the, uh, the king keg and the rotor keg, you would not go back to them once you had the corny kegs, fantastic, um, you've got parties coming on, you've got, you know, you can be ready for a day after, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's just, you know, the, the, the seal, the 
everything you want to do you can force carbon you can leave them to carbonate over the course of two or three weeks um, brilliant the only thing the only thing I find with the corn is well not since the corn is oh the metal kegs I've not, not tried the metal kegs mate no um, yeah I've not tried them ones um, I've just got the them corn did, did you mean the the ones for the um, dispensing or the actual brewing um, I've not used it they're big kegs they they, you get them from pubs, don't you know, outside the pubs, this and that, and we find, I find with these, the corner gigs, if you've got only one regulator, which I have, and it's, it's down here, what we're on there, we're on uh, 10 PSI there, um, if you've got different styles of beer, you've got a problem, because, um, you know, you may have one, you may want a lighter cider in a higher carbonation, an English bitter, a mild, something like that, and a lower. So yeah, um, that's the only problem I find with them. Unless you get the dual, or the is it four? You can get four of uh, the regulators. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Right, um, milk barrel. Ah, nice one. Oops. Cheers, Andrew. Um, Oh yeah, just a little dispenser. Yeah, that, they are the corner kegs, they are fantastic. In fact, I'll just show you what I've got here. I've always got some in. So what I'll do, fellas. We've got a worldwide exclusive here. Right. And you've seen you've seen the five litre uh, mini barrels, haven't you, the kegs? And the trouble with them is once you dispense them. Once you dispense them, I'll show you this in a minute, uh, Gav, pull this up. Dispense them, you've got to, um, once it stops, you've got to um, open it, the top, to vent it, and you get oxygen air into the actual barrel. And someone's come with the idea, i.e. me, I've not done a video, I've done a video, I've done part of it, but look at this there. Top of the can, that's actually sealed in there, and you've got there is that's a vent. So I can do two ways with this one. What I can actually do, I can carbonate naturally with sugar, or and there's no, or I can put uh, gas into there. You have to be careful because it's only sealed with a very so, uh, strong silicon sealant, lower pressures in there, not like carbonate kegs. You can put. 10 psi and you've got pressure in there so you could take that uh, to a party something like that so yes it's nice um or like a lower batch something like that so yeah that's so here first fellas none of these fancy stuff you have to buy over the top and the special dispensing arms that's just the normal tops of the corny kegs you saw it here first Yep. Right. Oh, of course, you'll be on the other side. There we go, yeah. They're them slim ones you're talking about, Gav, aren't they? The 19 litres, fantastic. Cheers, Tony. Yeah, um, so what I tend to do now, I do 23 litres uh, in the fermenter, 22, 23 litres, so it gives me like a full batch in the keg by the time I've got rid of all the shrub and the crap on the bottom, yeah. So yeah, um, that was my little idea, so yeah. So if you're going to go down that route, I'd say that. Pimp, something, bit of that me, yeah, did I manage? Yeah, did it mate, yeah, you managed it, yeah. So. That was just a bit of a test piece, that, and I'll tell you what, I tried all sorts, and you just, because you're only using, it sounds daffy, you're only using friction to seal it, you've got to be so careful, and it'll just, the pressure will blow off, and I tried so many different ways, and eventually, 
found a way. Yeah, this thing, do you know what I'd, I'd, I'd do? Shit, it's not hurt. Oh, it's alright. Just some falling inside where the keg's been dislodged. Uh, yeah, the stainless steel kegs, I'd, I'd save up if I could and go for the. Do you know the ones with the. Oh, what are they called now? They, they have like a bit of a V at the bottom, don't they? Um, and they do the. You can take the yeast off it and then you can run it. Clear afterwards and save that yeast. Um, Brutec, something like that. I'd go if I'd save, you know, go for that. Go that route if I could do. Um, but stainless steel's just so much better than plastic. Plastic's fine, but it's just all the time it does. You know, you get the it does stain, doesn't it? And you get you know it's harder to clean. And I had a ferment a while back in a lot of, and I'd done best I could sort of black mold in there, but I just used it. Um, a very weak um, bleach and it did the job but it's still and still so much better isn't it but yeah um, the SS Brutec them they're fantastic them, aren't they and you can just get rid of that yeast you can put it in a bottle you can store the yeast get it off you know it's I just think it's a fantastic idea but just still and steel and then you know it's price isn't it you know so what do you do and um, that's just my uh, thoughts Um, yeah, these these ones. Right. Oh, yeah. Um. Sorry about that. Was these things to go? Right. What beer style do you like, and what style do you like to brew, which you haven't tested? I love the wheat beers, and I've done quite a few and. What I did, I did a bit of an experiment last year. Unfortunately, I didn't send them out, and I should have done, but... And I've tasted two of the three. Uh, I wasn't happy with them, they've been too long. Now, the, the old grain was fine, and the two kits, they weren't good, so I'm not sending them out. Um, so wheat beer, yeah, and I'd love to do, I've not done it yet, a smoked beer, like a Rausch, Rausch beer, Rausch malt, something like that. Um, I know Frank's homebrew 77, he'd done quite a few and it's distinctive taste and that um, that is one I think I would like to do um, down the line and if there's any style you guys haven't done or have done <laughs> Cheers, Gav, yeah. That's designed to be, yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the Rausch beer, that's one I would like to do. And, you know, is there any beers you guys haven't done yet you'd like to do? Um, and it's one of those, isn't it? Because if you want to do a full batch of something you're not sure of, you know, you could do a smaller batch, couldn't you, of anything? Um, and to be honest, I'm getting a bit fed up of doing the things in damage on because you've got four and a half litres at max. By the time you've done, you've got seven or eight, five hundred ml bottles, don't you? Think you look at me, think, was it worth the wait? You know, that's why he's down the line. I think you know. Hello, well, I've got a guess. Uh, All right, Mark, catch you later, mate. Cheers. Um, that's the trouble, isn't it? If you haven't got, if you haven't got uh, fermentation control, um, you're struggling, aren't you? Um, to be honest, if you've got a cellar, you're lucky. Um, fridge is the way to go if you've got the space for it, you know, but I mean, like another thing I was saying before. King Cakes. Nah, I know, yeah. Um, 
Them king kegs, I, I put the pressure release valve on top. Even them, it was still it's a mess, you know. Sometimes you seal and sometimes you wouldn't, so I don't miss them. If you can get a, if you can get a fridge, or if you've got a cell or something like that, I would say go, you know. Um, cheers, Chris. Thanks for popping by. Give me love to the Americans. I miss the Trump especially. Great guy. Um, yeah, um, so I think if you want to brew all year round, I think you need a fermentation fridge. You've not got so big one. Um, Matron. Uh, yeah, if you want to, I mean, I can do, I can do lagers in here in winter, but I can't do them from spring onwards till November, December, something like that. So if I want to brew a lager. The trouble is your lagers, they just take so long, don't they? You know, it's, you think of a number with your ales or your IPAs and you've got, you know, you've got two, three, four weeks and lagers, you double doubling night at least. Um, in winter, you know, you could do it, you could store it in here. Um, I wouldn't have thought of doing a, get another keg and just storing it in winter for a lager or something like that, but um, that's just a, Another step in the journey, and so, yeah, it's it's just um, it's mind blowing. Yeah, I was just looking around, and it's this stuff, and you think, you know, where's it all come from? I know, like Tony Yorkshire Homebrew, he's got a dedicated, you know, and a fantastic space for that. You know, it's but it does take so much time, space, and effort. The women, the women do get fed up. There's no way, no two ways about it, you know, and. Little joke here, it might be a bit rude for some of you, so if you're under 18, you might not like it. Like to brew, hop up. Hobgoblin, Hob, Hobgoblin clone, yes, a fantastic drink that. I really do like that. And my favourite beer was Bateman's Triple uh, XB, which I've done. That's on the tube down here, waiting for a year, so at the end of August. But the trouble is, when I did it, because the ferment, uh, uh, the cube, sorry, is 25 litres, but maybe all in 27, 28, and the batch was perhaps 23, 24, so I did fill the top with boiled water. You've got three, four litres on top. So you've got, you know, you're going to dilute the taste, aren't you? But hopefully that works out pretty well. And stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's funny to say that because I'll just show you here. Diablo, fantastic beer, and I've got this here, and I've been meaning to do this. The triple. I've done. I've done a video of this a while back. Not just, not brewing it. Sorry, just just the tasting. Great beer. So I was meaning to do a video of this tonight. Didn't get around to it, obviously. Um, so we'll do a video of that. A couple of slight additions, not too much because they are fantastic kits as they are. So yeah, um, milk stouts. Um, I think it was Steve Molson, wasn't it? He had some trouble with the lactose upsetting his system. Yeah, so yeah, I've got some lactose milk in there, but you know, the sweetness of it is. It was a. It's a commercial milk stout. You may be able to help me on this one. Commercial milk stout, is it? it was Mackerson's? Is that a milk stout? Or maybe another one. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, but that was there. Like the, the, the one in the day, one sip, Mackerson's milk stout. Um, but yeah, okay, one one style. If you could brew one, I'll answer this one for myself and I'll, you know, hope you guys put a, a thing in. If I could only brew one style of beer again, what would I brew? That, that is so difficult, that. Um, I would say, God, I've done it. It's so difficult, isn't it? Because, you know, in the middle of summer, you're going to want 
you're going to want a lager or a cider or something like that. So, could only ever brew one beer again. I'm, I'm going switching between two or three now at the moment. Uh, one, brew, one beer ever again, I'm going for uh, an English pale ale. Nothing too hoppy, nothing too strong, just a sessionable beer. That would be my uh, forte. You know, I do love double IPAs and that, but you know, as a one only beer, the English IPA, I can't beat it, can you? You know, it's very similar to a bit, so there's not much in it, is there? And uh, yeah, oh, nice one, mate. That's Diablo. Is that is it the same? I think it's in, is it nine and a half percent. This one, I think it's nine and a half percent. Oh. 8% is 8% Andrew because I'm not sure <laughs> you're too strong on the uh, pardon me on the uh, on tap like that yeah small small snippets weren't you I think so yeah because but the the brew firm I was talking to a guy uh, in the shop and I asked him would you put some candy crystals with this not with this one there's another one probably in here probably Fell down. We've got a bargain. I'll read this in a minute. Uh, short dated. What date is it? Now? It's October 2018. Sorry, a bit past. Not too far. Probably change the east. That's the brew firm Arangi Bock. And I'll do, I'm not even open the top of this. I'll, I'll open it up and that thought. Didn't work, did it? We're back. Right, there, it's just these yeast there. I've just done a John Bull English bit. It looks like the same kind of yeast. I know these probably are different, but the packaging. And I've got some cross my loof yeast, so what I'll do, I'll probably exchange that for yeast because it's been stored in the fridge, but um, I've never tried this one. Anyone else tried this one? It's. Did I say it was 12 litres? Let's have a look. 6% OG 1054 Try to look Let's come back to you in a minute mate um, I'm sure I've read Oh, then I'm sure they're 12 litres on that one I've no specs on so we'll have some I'm sure I've read somewhere it's 12 litres for that kit. Nice one, Sony. Was it 12 litres? I'm just, uh, I'm not specs on. I'm sure, originally, I'm sure it said 12 litres. You see a bubble in the background, that's the Jumble Bitter, um, Best Bitter. That started tonight. To both sides, is it worth it? Ah, I'm going to come back to your previous comments, fellas. Hey, that's Hans, how are you? I'll show you. I've got a nice glass up here, Dr. Hans. You find it. Still keeping good. Special occasions, that one, mate. <laughs> We're gonna come back. Right, um turbo cider. Yeah, um if you like turbo ciders, look at Roy Lake, his videos. But I wouldn't want to spend nine or ten pounds on a, a turbo cider yeast for four and a half litres to be honest. So I'm gonna do a big batch then, yeah, I would do that. Cheers mate, Johnny. Uh yeah. Uh, I do that, and the, I was thinking of doing a bit of a video. I think maybe uh, back sweetening. That's yeah, that's it's always an option. This one here, this because I put ginger in there. It's taking the sweetness out of it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't need back sweetening. This one, but most of them do, to be honest. I think even uh, the liquid yeast do. That's a bit of a 
can stop it. I mean, if you're doing this in the keg, obviously you can do the stop at a certain rate. Um, it comes in cabinets to stop fermentation, but some people say it tastes funny. I did. I stopped it. I cold crashed it. I put it in the keg, and I force carved it. And it was okay actually. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't the best. It wasn't. wasn't too dry. But um, my idea in the keg because it was four or five degrees. It didn't uh, allow the yeast to re-ferment. So that was my little uh, idea on that one. So yeah, um, far better than the shop bar, which are full of sweetness. So I'll just come back here. Come back all down. There we go. Leave my couple back out. Hi right, Scott, cheers mate. The Diablo, yeah. That's that's a cracking beer. I've done, I've done the Diablo and the Triple and I couldn't split them to be honest. Never tried Nigerian Guinness. It's the best. They've got a boot over there, haven't they? So it, would it be the water, something like that, I presume? Quotes, uh, forgot the name. I'm saying that, that's a John Bull better. That's, I started that tonight at, what time? Six o'clock. It's half past nine now, and it's going. re of the East. Bones of oxygenation in there. So yeah, um, coming back here. Have you tried a hot turbo cider? Yeah, I think the hot turbo cider is the way to go. You take the edge off the the dryness. I think it just gives it a little bit more. Yeah, fantastic idea that. Um, I've done I've done it from the off and I've also dry hot, you know, so it's let's have a look. Turn it off. Yep. Uh, brief um, fantastic. I'm back good half hour in the <laughs> monkey bath. Quick or oh, shave sat here naked for a God and Benny, I don't want to think about that one, buddy. That dry hop citra. Uh, yeah. Who did it? It was, it was, um, Big Sugi once it did the original hop dry cider. Dry hop cider, you call it. Um, yeah, fantastic idea. I, I think it's actually edge off that, that dryness, all the twang, as you say, off the turbo cider. That's a great idea. That's with ginger, but it's a bit tart, tart. You may not like it. Hundred grams. Hundred grams, was that in a that one four and a half litre keg was it? I take it and a damage on. Hundred grams, can't be. Was it a big big batch? Quite interesting to hear that because I think it's too much in a yeah, it can't be a Damage on surely. I've almost got equilibrium here. I've got 12 watches and 11 likes. So maybe one more like and we're something like, as they say. Right. So TBF, that's back to the. Smells fantastic. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Hello. Anybody there? <laughs> oh, this is deserted. Internet problem, sorry about that. Lost the uh, majority. I think Albert um, pulled some wires out, yeah. Not three. Most people migrated, so. Anybody still left? I think I'll but pull the wires out on the internet. Turtle. Dogs, yeah, cracking video. I really enjoyed that. 
Sigmas šķot gan jai, mums palējo. Pats man nosaka Sigmas. VB, we're back, I'm back, so I've got, uh, we lost about seven views, obviously, to be able to stay welcome on to, so, watching that day, Sparks. Yeah, go, do go for it, Gav, yeah, just, you know, just go for the, and I've just, I've heard the, not done it myself, the um the Kutch, Tan and Rebel Brewing, go for that one. Uh two can kit and hops. We've got seven seven back, so yeah. Um go for the the Kutch. Um and I think your missus will be uh, delighted with that one, so that's about that time on twenty to ten. Walk talk so welcome so much. Hello, just cheering real Hi mate, um, and it's Real Police Talk and it's Hillbilly Wine Insip, so thanks for all your feedback mate, appreciate that, be watching your videos. Just said before to the guys, um, watching on the TV, and I keep meaning to do a, a comment before I know it, there's that many videos I've watched, I've not gone past them yet. Back again, watching and give it a quick spin in the brain. Okay, right. Bottling tree and a few, few bits there. Sugar. Yep. Um, Demi grains uh, ground up now need to go. Um, that's the fly comes from the zone. I'll come back to you in a minute. Cubes up there, stuff down here. Let's have a look. Flipping stuff down here, there's stuff in there, stuff in there, which you don't use it very often now, but the thing that's the bulldog thing, that's the John Bowser tonight coming around here. Let's see what we've got. It's not easy, this it's on, a, on a stand, you know. Can you see in there? That's just going all the bits in there. About my life, to be honest, yeah. My life in a spinners. Yeah. Right, so I'm watching now. How was that? It's really awkward that with your legs on this stand. So what? Just watching. Evening. Hey mate, how are you? Why is it Thanks for your feedback on the pressures as well. On the, I must apologise, I've not responded to many videos. I've lost a bit of a mojo, to be honest. This is a few. Check that. What's the spec on the Cannondale? Great. Thank you. Uh, Side. This is on tidy, so and cheers, mate. I'm not a tidy person. My missus, she, she just <laughs> the spec of Canada, it's 105 on the Canada Hill. Um, this is now, I'll show you, 11 years old now. So it's it's aluminium, it's a I think it's a CAD 8, um, Pan Joy carbon fiber fox. Um, old sugar. Come on. Nice ones. Cheers. Circles, but I know, yeah. The old Albert, but menace. Um, terrier, yeah, and it's just nothing's too big to have a go at, and he's just. I can't control him, basically. Um, yeah, he's, you know, he's on the lead and people come over with dogs. And I say, he's a bit snappy and they get a bit upset when he 
very bites them, and he, he doesn't uh, he doesn't bark, he doesn't growl, he just bites these dogs. Bigger the better. Labradors, Dogmans, Rottweilers, Staffies. He's up here, so uh, yeah, you'll get it back one day. But um, do warn people, and then basically, what can I do? Back up, yeah, it's up for. Cheers, mate. Yeah, um, so I'm going, oh God, man, it's 1 hour 15. I think we should call it a day, shouldn't we? Because, uh, look, I'll. We're on the um, stale steel bottle of one, if anybody's interested in one, buying one. Um, you come, I'll, I'll put the links in, uh, not links. Thing. and yeah a good option um easy to clean just strip right out so you've got you know you've got two bits there but you can't see right down there no can you no uh, so that you know, comes right out and the same one it's just a plastic one basically but in stainless so for the ones you've made in plastic you know they're gonna last tons longer so yeah good option i will get one Oh, cheers fellas, thanks for watching, appreciate all the views and likes and um, hopefully we'll do it again soon and um, enjoy us the weekend and we'll catch you later, cheers.